Well, hey friends, if you're looking for some new and updated keto snacks and meals, you're gonna wanna stay tuned because I have 10 keto snacks, meals, everything in between that is going to completely change the game for you. Coming up. Well, hey friends, if you're new to my channel, my name is Shelly and I'm a dietitian specializing in weight loss following the keto low carbon anti-inflammatory lifestyle. It is a lifestyle I myself followed after I could not peel the last 15 pounds of my baby weight off. My hormones were out of control. I had terrible migraines. I threw out everything I learned in school, really studied the keto lifestyle, brought it into my life, bring it into the life of my clients, and we're having amazing success stories. So if that's something you're interested in, I want you to subscribe. Raise your hand if you are sick and tired of eating boiled eggs as a snack. One of the big misconceptions of keto and living an anti-inflammatory lifestyle is that we have to snack on the same thing over and over again and just have bacon and eggs for breakfast. And while that's fun, we need some change. So I want you to grab your pen, grab your paper, because you're gonna to wanna to take notes because every single one of these food items is absolutely delicious and will completely change the keto game for you. Now, how did I determine what made our list? Well, number one, I I am a big proponent of looking at ingredients on the label. And particularly, I am very aware of different types of fats. Now in our clinic, we follow a plant-based fat guideline. So we do lots of avocado, lots of olive oil, and I'm okay with ingredients with coconut oil, even though most of you all know, I hate it. I just cannot stand the taste of coconut oil. Please don't tell me how to doctor it up. I tried every single way on the planet and it just doesn't work for me, okay? But anyways, the next thing, of course, we look at is the carb count. And I'm very conscious of that. It really depends on your plan and your macros as to how much you have in a day. Some folks follow the very strict guidelines of under 20 grams of carbs, where we go a little bit higher in our clinic. So I will tell you the amounts of net carbs and carbs in our products so it can fit into your plan. So please no nasty talk at the bottom because each person's body is a little bit different. And then finally, what I look for is kind of what are the sweetening these items? items with. I'm really looking for a stevia based item. I'm really looking for maybe erythritol. That is one that I do let go, but especially maltitol, that is a big X on our list. So without further ado, gang, let's get started. Okay, gang. So many of you all know that pork rinds is a huge part of a keto and low carb plan, but a lot of times when we shop for pork rinds, and I did a video where I did a Dollar Tree uh, shopping where we found that the pork rinds um, maybe had some things added to it, and particularly MSG. Uh, and we want to shy away from that. This is your answer. These are the epic pork rinds, but check out this flavor. Cinnamon, and I cannot pronounce that word. Look, I'm from the bayou. I don't do fancy language. Cheerio? Churros. I hope that is right. Let me know if I'm wrong. But these have one gram of carb and the ingredient really is just the pork skin, the cinnamon, the salt. When I was doing food tours at Drug Emporium stores, we would always end our tour with this and it sold out. Everyone purchased this. It gives the pork rind a sweet flavor. And one of the things that I feel like we love on a keto plane is a good crunch. This is your answer, one gram of carb per serving. If you are somebody who absolutely loves soup, I love soup. I could cook soup for lunch and supper. My family, not so much. What do you mean there's only soup? And if you're tired of just cream-based soups, because if you go on blogs, that's all you see. Cream of this, cream of this, cream of this, which again is fine. We're not knocking any of that. We just wanna bring new and innovative products in. This is your answer. This is the Miracle Noodle plant-based noodle. This is the bone broth beef noodle soup. It's made with Monolife, which we'll talk about those folks in a minute. It's five grams of collagen rich protein per serving. It is just a great brothy soup. You know, sometimes we miss chicken noodle soup and if you don't, awesome, good for you. I sometimes haven't happen to miss it. The carbs in here is four and the dietary fiber is four. So for folks following net carb, it is zero grams. There's no gluten in here. Uh, it's considered paleo and keto, and it's so easy to cook. You could actually make this in your microwave. So this makes for a great work lunch, especially in the cold winter month, or if you're like me and just love soup. This is a great find, great flavor. Now, of course, you could doctor it up with your favorite spices, but something good to grab on the go, and I love that there's collagen included in there. If you are absolutely tired of olive oil... Let's have a little bit of olive oil. 
fish-based dressings for your salads, which I have to admit, sometimes I get a little just ugh, whenever it comes to olive oil and vinegar. Here's your answer. This is Primal Kitchen's Thousand Island dressing. It's made with avocado oil. I love Thousand Island. I tell folks when I was younger, I was on the Thousand Island diet. That means that I would dunk everything in there. I would dunk French fries, which obviously I don't eat anymore in there. I would just dunk everything. And then I made the huge mistake of going to fat free. And of course, what that meant is that they added extra sugar to it. This is the answer. This is an amazing product. It is made with uh, avocado oil. Like we said, a lot of their flavorings, crushed tomatoes, organic capers, distilled vinegar, really good flavor. You know, there's no kind of MSG in here. You know, it is no soy, no canola, no dairy, no added sugar. This is Whole30 approved if you do follow those guidelines as well, kind of in with your keto plan. Such an amazing brand, an amazing company. I have not been disappointed by this company at all. My only complaint is that it is a little bit more on the pricier side. So what I do, because I'm cheap, is that I will mix this with a little bit of the extra virgin olive olive oil so that I can extend it and use it on my salads. Such an amazing, great find. So earlier we talked about the Miracle Noodle Lono Life marriage of that awesome broth. And this right here is the Lono Life Keto broth. Now I'm going to open this up so you could see what it looks like. Love this because these are travel size so they can come with us you just put it in your hot water mix it the ingredients in here are chicken broth chicken fat salt so we have no msg in here we have nothing weird the fat itself comes from the chicken it is five grams of fat per serving which is still on the lower side the saturated fats 1.5 so even if you're following keto and somebody else in your house is not this is a great find for the both of y'all the taste of this is amazing because i find that some bone broths on the market are pretty uh, this one right here is a winner i carry this in my bag with me to work just in case i forget to grab my lunch or if it's cold i just put it in my mug it's perfect it's good to go i love it one of the biggest complaints i get from folks in my clinic who follow keto is that they miss a crunch and i get it i do too you know we're not doing potato chips we're not doing any of those items and flour really does add a great crunch to food got your answer these are the Rhythm Foods Cauliflower Bites. Now this is the item on here that has the highest amount of net carbs. It is at six, but I don't want you to panic about that because the ingredients in here are organic cauliflower, organic high oleic sunflower oil. Do not be scared by that because of its high olenic, and I could be saying that wrong. It's okay, it's not really a big deal. It keeps the antioxidants in there so they didn't necessarily burn the oil to put it in there so we are safe with that style of a sunflower oil a little bit of sea salt the crunch is fantastic i usually take these on travel with me super simple ingredients nothing wild and crazy certified gluten-free get your crunch with these now earlier this year i did a super fun video about keto rice substitutes. And I really need to make that video over because we have some new ones. And one of my favorite noodle brands has jumped into the rice market and that is Palmini. I love this brand. I love everything they stand for. It is absolutely delicious. The ingredients, all this is, is hearts of palm, uh, water, natural sea salt. Now to make this, where folks make the error using this product is that they just cut it open, pour it in the bowl and maybe put their sauce on top of it. And you'll call me and you'll say, Shelly, you said this was good. It's disgusting. And I go, well, basic directions. We have to rinse it with plenty of water and then we cook the rice over medium heat. So you have to cook this product and I get it. It's a little teaser because we think we just open it, put it in our bowl. No, no, no. You want to cook it. Net carb count in here is two. Carb count is four great addition to your supper meals. On nights that you are just completely tired of chicken and green beans, because I know we fall into that and we wanna add flavor to our food, let me introduce you to a fabulous brand called Kevin's. So Kevin's has these amazing marinades. They come in packages like this, they come in jars. I 
love this product and I keep saying that and I'm really happy because I'm finding products that I love and that I could share with you. I love this product. It tastes amazing. I would never recommend anything to you that tastes like boo-boo. Uh, so again, the ingredients, you know, we got our water, we got our lime juice. This is sweetened with monk fruit. So if you do want to know, is it, you know, maltitol or anything like that? No, no, no. This is a monk fruit, which we are okay with using monk fruit in our clinic. The carb count in here is three. Very, very good. Uh, you could use this to about one to 1.5 pounds of meat. So it definitely extends. It just gives everything a great flavor. They have so many different flavors. You could play with this. And again, it adds just some great taste to our supper meals if we feel like they are getting a little bit whap, whap. all right so so i did a video a couple weeks ago about the biggest mistakes that folks in keto make and when i counsel patients and if that's something you're interested in you can scroll in the description box below shoot me an email we file various insurances but i get my clients to obviously keep a food diary and they will always say one of the biggest struggles they had before they saw me is that they would snack on a lot of cheese. Cheese. Now we're not, you know, given the big X to cheese. I love cheese. I live for cheese. However, sometimes if we just snack on cheese, it just has five grams of protein, just five grams of fat. Um, it's not going to hold us over, but we love cheese. I totally get it. So for my cheese lovers out there, we're going to add a little bit more oomph to the cheese and here's your product. This is our Parm Crisp snack mix. It's a great crunch. What they do is they add nuts to it. So this version, they added the almonds, the cashews, which I know is a higher carb nut, but because it's mixed in, it still keeps the carbs at five. Pistachios. We've got some garlic powder, onion powder, paprika. Very good. Very nice crunch. Gives you your trail mix. Now this is the barbecue flavor. I believe there's a ranch flavor. There's a plain flavor. So there's a lot that you could play with with this. Uh, you could have this in your drawer at work. I love that it's kind of like a little seal bag that we have right there so it makes it super convenient this is a great crunchy product if you personally know me you know that i absolutely have a heart just like my heart that i do right there for chocolate i love chocolate chocolate is to me one of the greatest inventions on the planet the problem with a lot of keto chocolate is again they'll usually add garbage to it they'll throw in maltitol you keep hearing me talk about maltitol game the reason i don't like maltitol is because pretty much it gives you the poops i'm trying to be a lady about it there's no other way i can explain it but eat it grab a magazine and go sit on the toilet because that's usually what happens to folks or you kind of hunch over and some gas pain so i am super sensitive personally to maltitol i can always tell when I'm served a keto product and there's maltitol in there because unfortunately I need to go find a magazine and go into a bathroom. And after that embarrassing story of telling you this, let me show you the chocolate I found that does not have that. And da 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 da, chalk zero. Holy cow, elevated the game. And if you've seen this, it says dark chocolate peanut butter cups. So I get my Reese's. This is amazing. One of the cups has 70 calories, six grams of fat, one net carb. If you're counting carbs, it is five. It's made with dark chocolate. They sweeten this with monk fruit. Now, again, I love monk fruit in here. It's just a Japanese fruit that the body recognizes as an herb. There's no added sugar. It's soy free, which is nice. It's palm oil free. There's no sugar alcohols. This is such a fantastic product. Now, Chalk Zero has a huge line of items. They have chocolate chips that you can bake with. Uh, they have uh, different types of peanut butter cups. This personally is my favorite because I like dark chocolate. But again, if you like the milk chocolate, do a little uh, do a little quick read on those ingredients and you'll be able to pick those things. And friends, before we hit our final product, I want to invite you to scroll in our description box and click on our seven day keto and anti-inflammatory menu. It is a free menu. It's the very similar to what I share with my clients and our clinic. It is a menu that I follow that again has kept the 15 pound baby weight off for about five years now. You can download it to your inbox. You'll be informed of everything that we have going on in our clinic. And without further ado, one of my 
favorite finds in the past year, and I guarantee you, you have not heard of this. It is a wonderful replacer for bacon and eggs. And granted, we love bacon and eggs in our clinic, but I'm gonna tell you right now, sometimes that gets a little old. And a lot of us miss cereal. And don't worry, I'm not gonna bring up a really gross cereal. I know y'all have some. I am bringing up the fabulous product of this bad boy right here. This is the Simply Fuel Keto Nut Granola and Trail Mix. And I wanna show you all what it looks like. You can kind of see, I'm, I'm just kind of separating with my fingers. This is obviously a separated product. So it's not like a Captain Crunch style, um, you know, pea protein kind of nut thin thing that's just weird and tastes bizarre and about breaks your teeth. The ingredients in here are pretty much seeds, nuts. We do have a little erythritol in here um, and that's because she has the dark chocolate chip in here. There's stevia in here. Fabulous product. It goes amazing with your unsweet almond milk. It goes amazing if you're that person who maybe mixes this with a little bit of sour cream. I love this. This cereal right now you can get on Amazon. Of course, I have all the products with the links below that you can order. There's 11 servings that come in this container. The person who invented this is a dietitian as well, and she works with various sports teams. So this is gonna have a super amazing flavor. I love that again. You noticed on a lot of these products, and this one's no different, we have the seal, kind of the Ziploc bag type of option where you can carry this with you and have it with you at work. Carbs in here is five, the dietary fibers three. So we're at two net carbs. Absolutely delicious. Did I miss any of the new products that you have tried? Be sure to list them below. And gang, of course, since you watched this video, I know that you're gonna wanna watch this video over here, which is my favorite salad dressings that you can find at the supermarket. My name is Shelly. If you like this video, give it a like, be sure to subscribe, and I will catch you all soon. Bye-bye, friends. Mwah.